Hi, so I want to do a video about this, um, kind of going over and I just the video I just made, um, my boobs. Basically, this whole video is about why I don't date and why I honestly, there are certain situations in your life that you should not date. And that is when you first get out of a relationship that was long term or you just really love that person. Never date. Never, ever date. Okay. Um, and just take some time for you. Whenever you maybe feel lost, also don't date. Like, I'm purposely not dating right now because I know that is something every time I try to, I put them first. And I guess I actually had a talk with somebody I know. Um, it totally makes sense. I have ADHD. And so whenever you have that, you kind of obsess over that person. And I forgot there's a certain part of ADHD that I have um, that causes that. But again, I'm not a doctor or anything, but it's 100% true. It sucks. So yeah, dating for me is very toxic. And it's just something I decided not to do. It's nothing against anyone. I'm sure there's, I'm definitely missing out on some amazing people. I'm fine with that because, I mean, sometimes I'm not, but it's okay. <laughs> um, I just feel like people need to be okay with being alone. And I think I've been alone for so long now. Um, definitely over a year now. Probably two. Um, just I'm used to doing things when I prefer it. Um, there's certain things I would like to do, you know, once in a while with people, but for the most part, uh, it's just nice. Like, if you can't enjoy that alone time, they say if you can't stare in the mirror at yourself and talk with yourself for like a few minutes, don't like you really need to focus on you, basically. So, I do believe that entirely. I love talking on camera and talking on camera and talking in the mirror is totally do different things just to let you know um even though you're still technically talking to yourself but you're also talking to global instead of just talking to yourself and loving yourself um I do not do all those mirror talking things I probably should get back into it but that's just me <laughs> but I just some happy and thriving being single. Every time I date, I feel like I fall down. And they, you know, many people would be like, well, you don't, you haven't found the right person. Well, being in my industry, a lot of people don't like, and the fact that I travel so much and the fact that I have so many dogs, it is not easy. It's not like, I don't have time for you. I don't have time for friends. My friends, I don't talk to every day. I just don't because I don't have time for them. Um, so it's not, it really isn't anything personal. It's just the fact, like, that's how my life is right now. And I'm in my 20s, my mid-20s, exactly mid-20s. I don't want to focus on someone whenever the divorce rate is so high. It's like, I don't want to be divorced. It's not going to happen. I've gotten proposed multiple times, said no every time. You know why? Because I know my worth. Even if I was still dating them after. And it was, it really wasn't that awkward, but kind of was, but kind of really wasn't. Because it wasn't like a, it was a serious proposal, but at the same time, it wasn't like they did all this extra stuff for it. So, it's fine. Um, if they did all that extra stuff, I might consider it, but probably not. Uh, it's just certain things I find very precious and it's very weird to people. Um. Like, the fact if I do text you every day, like, I really, that's a big thing, okay? <laughs> um, if you're not at work, like, it's a big thing. Um, there's just certain things for me that is very personal. Like marriage is definitely one of them. I don't want to marry somebody that I can see myself divorcing in 10 years. People do it. Um, I do also believe, like, this is a very messed up scenario, but I do believe, like, your marriage kind of is a business. You want a co-partner that is going to be a good co-partner. Well, your life is kind of a business. And so if you run it like that, then you'll start looking at whoever you're dating a lot differently. Um, very messed up scenario, but it's true. And it does work. And pretty much every analogy. So, 
that is my advice if you're trying to think about getting in the dating world and you kind of really like somebody, but are they doing everything right now and in the moment to your like level? And if they're not, I mean, honestly, every guy comes back. Every girl will come back. They'll come back, period. Um, just trust me, it happens. Uh, I have a situation, actually two, that I keep on coming back. My issue with one of them is I am normally, if it's not work, I don't care. They know it, and I've told them this. That you're not a priority. So they respect it, but it probably is annoying to them. And I would love to hang out with them, but it's not my priority. priority so. But anyways, that's all. Any other questions, let me know, and I'll try to answer them. And